Hello everyone, Janella of Channel Fiend here and I want to welcome you to the channel and to Channel Buzz. If you're new to Channel Fiend, welcome. If you are a returning guest or subscriber, Before we hop into the video, I just want to thank you for pressing the play button. On a daily basis, there are more than 2 billion videos published to YouTube. And from the creator's perspective, that's a whole lot of competition. <laughs> and as far as Channel Fiend is concerned, you could be watching any other 199,999,999 videos. But you aren't. You're here with me and I am very appreciative and happy. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you can get notified when I publish new content. Again, thank you for pressing play and thank you very much for your support. Now, in this video, like the title says, I'll be sharing with you five travel channels to check out. So let's get the channel buzz intro out of the way and I'll catch up with you on the fiend side so we can start this video. Channel Buzz is my playlist of recommended channels to watch. Now, some channels are new, while others, hmm, not so much. The purpose of the Channel Buzz playlist is to connect channels with their audience and somehow, some way, in the process, break the YouTube algorithm that seems to only reward large and heavily popular channels. Again, I'm Janella with Channel Fiend, and this video is about traveling. I don't know about you, but I grew up traveling. My mother was active duty Air Force for 22 plus years, so as a teen, preteen, and young adult, I've been to lots of places, met lots of people, and I've tried lots of different types of amazing food with my mom. <laughs> it was awesome. And unfortunately, due to Rona, traveling became a long lost friend for so many, including myself. However, thanks to YouTube, we're all able to get our travel fixed, minus getting our passports renewed, taking our shoes off for TSA, and having to make that ever so popular mad dash to the restroom before the line gets backed up all the way to the mid-premium economy class row of seats. And just a little housekeeping, for those of you who aren't familiar with Channel Buzz, I have a five point process in which I share channels with you, and they are as follows. Number one, channel value proposition. How does the channel uniquely stand out from other channels? Number two, channel engagement. Does the channel utilize any or all of the tools at its disposal to communicate directly to its audience? Or does it utilize any or all the tools at its disposal to ensure that their videos are seen by its viewers? Number three, length of videos. How many videos has the channel published? And how many years has the channel been publishing content? Number four, what is the personality of the creator? Are they likable, funny, mysterious? Do they speak in the first person or do they narrate their videos? And number five, channel summation, about, and my wrap up. What does the creator say about their channel? Does what they say match their videos? During my wrap up, I make sure to share information about the channel that I like and I think that viewers will appreciate about the channel. So by the power invested in me, as per my YouTube channel, let's check out the world via these travel channels. Cruise Addicts Channel Value Proposition Now there are all types of ways to travel and for some cruising is the best mode of transportation to see the world. And from what I can see, this channel's value proposition is hmm, producing cruise related videos that rival those of the actual cruise industry. This isn't your grandparents or your aunts and uncles telling you about the cruise that they took that knocked the socks off their feet. This ain't it. This channel produces high quality videos that could actually be used for marketing and promoting cruise liners. Channel engagement. Playlist and consistent uploads. The narrator has a very engaging voice. It's very pleasant to listen to as well. Length of videos. Hmm, the channel has around 280 videos which range from 3 minutes to 1 hour plus long. Oh, and I can't leave out the fun fact that so there's lots of content to binge out on. I mean, especially if you love cruises, you, you, you're in for a treat. Channel about summation and wrap up. 
cruise addicts is beyond entertaining. Whether you're into cruising, want to get into cruising, or want to see what all the hype is about when it comes to cruising, Cruise Addicts really hits the spot for a wide audience base. It's very informative, Carnival, Norwegian, Viking cruise ships, the list goes on. They, they cover a lot of you know different cruise line companies. Um, this channel is very professional. It hits all the spots to convince viewers that they need to take a cruise in, in the near future. Um, like I mentioned, the narrator's voice is very inviting. Um, the videos are informative, entertaining. And did I mention um, professional? Very professional. And again, as far as the narrator, his voice sounds like, it sounds very familiar. Like you heard him on a TLC show. And I must say this, if, you, if you're not ready to travel by a cruise ship after watching a handful of the videos, Hmm, just watch a few more. I guarantee you that after about 16 or so plus more videos, you're going to have your sea legs. Big time. And that's a wrap up for Cruise Addicts. Travel the world with Thorkin. Ken of Value Proposition. Ken is not so offy, nor does he give off an arrogant vibe. You can tell that he's really enjoying himself and that he wants you to enjoy yourself vicariously through him. Channel engagement. Playlist and consistent uploads. He comments and hearts with those who engage with him. He also invites new visitors to sub him, to like his videos, and to share his videos. Length of videos. Let's see, his shortest video outside of shorts, um, they're under 10 minutes. His longest video is around 38 minutes. However, on average, I say that his videos are about 12 to 15 minutes long. And also from time to time, you might be able to catch him going live as well. If that's your thing, you know, live video. Personality. I can't stress it enough. It's easy to tell that he is really enjoying himself. He loves to travel and you can tell that, you know, from his videos. Um, he's a laid back type of guy. Um, he's the perfect tour guide. He's vested in making sure that his shots show everything that you need to see so you can make your own decision as to whether or not you want to go to that location yourself. So he does a really good job at being the tour guide. Final about summation and wrap up. Let's see, his videos are a good mixture of slideshow and video footage. Ken gives really detailed information about the locations that he's visiting. He does, like I mentioned before, a mixture of lives, shorts, and long form videos from his channel. Uh, let's see. I think that he posts and publishes content as regularly as he can. I, I presume that when he's not posting, that he's traveling. So he, you know, sometimes it's wi-fi is shoddy or there is no wi-fi i would think that if if it's taking him like a few weeks or days to post probably because he's out enjoying life and he's getting some footage to share from his channel in terms of a wrap-up ken does an excellent job at engaging his guests and by drawing them in with his videos not just about the places he travels to the food he eats but it's about the viewers traveling vicariously through him. Viewers are able to experience the culture, the nature through his travels. And he's not like most travel channels where he's doing a lot of talking or talking from the first person perspective. Um, he narrates his videos and the way that he does it, it draws you into his videos. Now he, he does have a slight accent. Dornkin, you would think that he's German. He lives in Germany. But he's not German. I know he's, I think he's from, some, from somewhere in Southeast Asia. He's relocated to Germany. And a few last side notes from his channel's About tab. He states his goal is to share ideas on what travelers should expect on their future travels to same or similar destinations as his. His channel has over 120 plus videos and a handful of playlists for you to check out. So he has a lot of content for you to binge on. Most definitely. And this is a wrap up of Travel the World with Thorkin. Go travel with Stacy. Channel value proposition. 
Stacy strikes me as one of those people who really enjoys life and traveling with her significant other. So it appears to me that her channel's value proposition is one where she's not only showing places to go, things to do, and how to get there with ease and comfort, but she also provides travel tips and tricks along the way to show that traveling is something that's easy and anyone can do. Channel engagement. Let's see, she uses end screen, she has playlists, she has consistent uploads. Um, there's nothing about her channel that says anything remotely close to pretentious or faking it. Stacy is the real deal. She's really funny. I've never met her, but I don't have to. I can tell from watching her videos that she's a really cool person to be around. Length of videos. Her videos range from the ever so popular shorts to um, about one hour and a half when it comes to long form videos, so there's something for everyone to watch. Personality. I would say that her personality is, you know, like your best friend from high school or college. She's adventurous, she's funny, she's fun to be around, she's bubbly, she's entertaining. Oh, and <laughs> she even has that Texas twang that so many try to imitate but, but can't, right? Including me. I'm, I'm, I'm a Texas transplant for like over 20 plus years and I don't think I ever get it, so <laughs> yeah, let those who can do. And um, Stacy, yeah, she has that cute little Texas twang. <laughs> you have got to check out the feature video. She and her husband are driving on a ledge, and she's handling it like a champ, a real funny, afraid champ, nonetheless. But she's she's handling it. It's, it's hilarious. You, you got to check it out. Channel about summation and wrap up. Me personally, I will most def go traveling with Stacy. She's hilarious. Her background music selections are pleasant. Personally, she covers all the bases for me. She's entertaining, funny, informative, and she shares her opinions without coming off bossy or snobby. The places she goes to are pretty awesome. Yeah, I will most definitely go traveling with Stacy. So if you're into fun and outgoing people, I think you'll enjoy her channel. Also, her videos aren't just about travel. She also gives handy dandy tips on travel essentials and gadgets, how to survive different travel conditions, and the list goes on and on and on. She has very fair and honest reviews. Like I said, I will most definitely go traveling with Stacy. And that's the wrap up for Go Travel with Stacy. Bike, life, travel. Channel value proposition. This channel gives the value proposition around the love of motorcycles and motorbikes. Sometimes he has other riders who join him, and other times it's just him and his camera. But his value proposition is most definitely um, focused on traveling by motorbike. Channel engagement. He doesn't really do those things that most would consider engagement, but I think that his content, you know, it, it's really strong and it speaks for itself. The places that he goes to, the scenery, if you like content like his, you're going to automatically on your own engage with him by liking and sharing and I mean, his, his content just really is really that strong and it speaks for itself in the places that he goes and, and whatnot. Length of videos. His channel has over 216 videos. Videos average anywhere from a minute to 20, 22 minutes long. He also does shorts. His channel has... Um, videos that span back as far as four years ago. So there's definitely content um, for you to binge on over the weekend. Personality. I can tell that he has a really fun personality. He's open and he's relaxed. You can tell that he considers himself to be a global citizen and he really wants to connect with other people who consider themselves to be the same. Channel about summation and wrap up. Well, if you're really into motorbikes and motorcycles, and if you like to travel and experience places to the eyes of others, I believe that you will find bike life travel very interesting and informative. He travels to a lot of different places within his country of origin, India. He provides lots of inspirations in his videos, as well as amazing shots of his journey. When I think of his channel, the word cinematic comes to mind. He has a GoPro and a drone, and let me tell you, he knows how to use them. He has nice shots, nice angles, nice drone shots. 
The first person video shots are really nice as well. His narrated voiceovers are interesting and inviting along with his b-roll footage. He most deaf goes to beautiful locations and it's just amazing shots and really breathtaking on places that he goes to. This is a wrap up of Bike Life Travel. Coasters and Travels Channel Value Proposition <laughs> Coasters, 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 and more coasters with traveling. <laughs> he travels high and low, far and wide, to get viewers footage of amusement parks and coasters. I honestly, you know, didn't know there were so many roller coasters in so many different states. It's amazing. He, he puts a lot of fun into this category of travel. Channel Engagement Playlists and consistent uploads. I enjoy the fact that even though he could be clickbaity with his video titles and thumbnails, he's not. He's straightforward and what you see is what you get. With the side of humor here and there. He's, he's pretty laid back and chill, but you can tell that he really enjoys what he's doing. Length of videos. Let's see, his videos range from over a minute all the way to 10 minutes to 15 minutes, 21 minutes. So he has a wide range of videos and, they, you know, depending on what the subject matter is, they're either short or they, you know, can be a little long. Not that long, though. And his channel has been in existence for over three years, so he has about three years worth of, of content for you to check out. Personality. He's a pretty cool guy. I don't want to be disrespectful, but, you know, he's like a kind of like a big kid. You can tell that he's really enjoying himself and he, that he's having fun. When I say that he's funny, he's very descriptive with his words, especially when explaining the different roller coaster rides. So he can, he can be pretty hilarious and, and funny from time to time. <laughs> Channel about summation and wrap up. Let's see, he does this thing where he does comparisons between roller coaster rides. He like puts them side by side. I have never seen anything like that, um, really. And that's pretty neat that, you know, how he does that. I would say for the most part, his channel is very informative um, because he's breaking down and giving, you know, opinion on different roller coaster rides. The park itself, what you may or may not find appealing, you know, when it comes to the park. He has a lot of nice B-roll footage, footage other than just the roller coasters, showing you what the park looks like. That's, you know, quite interesting and entertaining. Bottom line is, you know, he has a theme style travel channel that's not typical. Um, it's most definitely out of the box and I think it's quite interesting. So if you are into roller coasters, don't mind shotgunning it with him through the parks in the different states that he travels to. I'd say this, this channel is probably for you. You should probably check it out and sub to it. And that's a wrap on coasters and travel. Thank you for making it to the end of the video and if you haven't done so yet I will be truly honored if you would hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you like this type of content. Don't forget to like and share this video. Oh and comment. Let me know if there are any categories you would like for me to provide a list of channels on. Talk to you soon and take care. I'm Janella with Channel Fiend and I'm out of here like Tupperware at the family cookout. Bye bye.